A 2010 study suggests that the healthy older women are capable of exercising and increasing exercise intensity in the same way as the young women. Hey, what's up everyone? Hi, this is Rashid Benin from Health and Muscles. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because I come up with awesome content every week. Once people start aging, the body's energy reserve and testosterone levels get depleted and so does the versatility of the nervous system. This effect becomes prominent after one turns 40. So, how should you train? How does your training differ from your younger counterparts? In this video, we will be covering all the workout differences with regards to age. But, we'll be looking into that on the other side of the video. So, stay tuned. Testosterone levels fall at an average of 1.6% per year, while free and bioavailable levels fall by 2 to 3% per year. After the age of 50, muscular strength decreases at a rate of 1.5 to 5% per year. This leads to reduced functional capacity. Now, there is evidence that this decline can be reduced through regular participation in resistance exercise, resulting in improved muscle mass muscle strength and body composition along with your metabolic health of course. Even though there are a lot of research describing the potential benefits of resistance exercise in older adults, exercise recovery and the process of muscle repair and adaptation following the intense exercise are yet understudied. Uh, indeed, little is known regarding how older adults recover from individual exercise sessions that may be performed as part of a resistance training program. A study which was conducted in 2019 compared the recovery of trained young versus trained and untrained middle-aged men. Now, middle-aged men, the age that was considered over here is 30 to 59 years, showed that the exercise induced muscle damage, causing a reduction in muscle function, time course of recovery, and decrement in the peak power after a high volume resistance exercise is greater in case of trained middle-aged males compared to their young counterparts. So what does it mean? It means that a middle-aged male who trains should be aware of them requiring greater recovery time and should adopt appropriate strategies in their training regime. Now, focus more on your structural adaptation rather than your functional changes meaning not focusing more on one rep max type of training and taking each of your set to two to three reps shy of failure. Now this will lead to muscle hypertrophy. The focus should be more on the quality of rep. Adding more exercise variation as uh, strength is the ability of the body to exert force at different positions. So it will be different for different movements. For example, you find doing an inclined curl a little more difficult as compared to a normal bicep curl, right? Isn't it? Exactly. Hence, introduce more variations wherein you will be challenging the ability of the body to exert force at different positions. Exposure to heavy loads should not be frequent but regular as it helps to develop the connective tissues. Weights should be increased in smaller increments less frequent training and giving each muscle group the required time for recovery is of the same. There need to be a greater balance between all the three fitness qualities. What are the three fitness qualities? Endurance, strength and flexibility. Now, you should also focus on injury prevention as connective tissue degenerate faster at this age. A 2010 study which was done to examine the possible influences of age on resistance exercise. Intensity progression in men such as that healthy sedentary older men are capable to exercise and increase resistance exercise intensity in the same way as young men. While physically active older men are capable to increase resistance exercise intensity in greater way as compared to sedentary young and older men. What does this mean? It means huge important workout. 
So it is normally recommended that the intensity of exercise training should progress slowly with lower increasing in older than in younger people. So take care of all the weight that you're adding on to your bench press. A 2010 study suggests that the healthy older women are capable of exercising and increasing exercise intensity in the same way as the young counterparts. So for both women and the elderly, the primary focus of training should be towards your structural changes and building muscle mass. As a main restrictive factor for them is improvement in the rate of muscle growth. So when you're about to get to the gym, plan your workout accordingly by taking into consideration all the points that I've mentioned. That is it for today guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Take care.